Becoming a CWI can be a little complicated, so we've created a visual roadmap to explain the process. The first step to becoming a CWI is qualifying for the CWI exam. You need to make sure you're qualified for the test before you go through the hassle of filling out the application and paying the exam fee. So how do you know if you qualify? It's easy. On the application, you'll see this work, experience, and education matrix. The more specialized education you have, the less work experience you need. You can see that you can qualify as a CAWI with much less years of work experience. A CAWI is a Certified Associate Welding Inspector. Let's talk about those differences. So CAWIs can assist CWIs with inspection tasks, but the CWI needs to be the one that signs off on reports or records. Now, a CAWI can operate unless it's under the direct supervision of a CWI. If you don't have the necessary work or education experience for a CWI, you may still qualify to become a CAWI. Then, once you have the required experience, you can apply to AWS for an upgrade to CWI, provided you pass your CWI exam with a 72% score or higher. Okay, back to work history. The minimum work history means you need to have that amount of experience in welding, fabrication, inspection, or the design of metals. You don't have to be a welder, although that certainly qualifies as relatable experience. It's fine if you've worked in QC, third-party inspection, pipe fitting, machining, or various other roles involved in fabricating metals of any kind, including pipes, refineries, duct work, rebar, structural steel, pressure vessels, vehicles, and lots more. So many people fall into the five-year experience category. They've graduated high school and some or no college. Therefore, they need five years of relevant experience. Some of our students have welding-related degrees or are civil or structural engineers. According to AWS requirements, they would only need two years of work history. A specific welding engineering or technology bachelor's degree requires the least amount of work experience, only one year. Once you know you qualify, you can start looking at costs. As of 2019, the CWI exam costs about $1,070. Good training will cost you around $1,500. You can expect to pay between $350 and $435 for the Part C codebook that's brand new and with the AWS membership discount. AWS membership costs about $100. So all in all, you're looking at about a $3,000 investment, plus a little more for travel to get to two different test locations. The test is three parts, A, B, and C, each one being two hours long. Parts A and C are taken at a Prometric test center, but part B is taken at a different location. Part B is given on the last day of the week-long AWS seminar. But remember, the seminar is not a requirement to take the test. You will take the Part B test first, so you'll need to choose a testing date and location for Part B. This schedule is found on AWS's website. There's a schedule for the US and an international schedule, both linked on our roadmap. After taking Part B, you'll take Parts A and C at a Prometric testing center nearest you. You must take Parts A and C within a certain time frame after taking Part B. Traveling to these test locations will factor into your projected costs. When you're ready to budget for these costs, it's time to move to step two, which is choose. Choose a Part C codebook route. The most popular are the D11, and the API 1104. This is the codebook you will learn and use on Part C. After you do this, you can either download the CWI application and fill it out, or complete the application online. In addition to proving your work and education experience, be prepared to submit an official ID, a passport-like photo, along with the results of a specific type of eye exam and color blindness test. After looking through the application, you'll move on to step three, which is study. You don't want to take this test without any training, and this is where SI Certs comes in. Our training is 80 hours of online teaching, practice, and guidance. You'll get personal coaching with Matt, our on-staff CWI, for up to six months. We also ship custom-made plastic weld replicas and a 10-piece inspection toolkit that will prepare you for what to expect on the exam. After you've started studying, move on to step four, which is to apply. You will complete your application and submit to AWS. Don't wait until you finish your studies. Do this quickly so you can confirm the test date and location that works best for Part B. If you wait too long, 
that test date may not be available. Once you finish your training, there's only one thing left to do. Step five, take the test and pass it. It's normal to be a little nervous about this test, but if you've spent the necessary hours in training, you can be confident going into the CWI exam.